Hello, best regards to all of you. In this opportunity, I will submit the work Typology of Processes in the Shared Leadership of Academic World Teams. This work has been developed by professors from four different universities, these universities. The objective of this work is to classify and categorize the different types of shared leadership actions that have been generated in work teams. The working hypothesis is that the different teams on their own and without prior knowledge will arrive at the same type of leadership actions. This classification, shared leadership, was not obtained from theoretical models, but from the specific actions and processes that the different members of the team have carried out. In this slide, we can see the work scheme of the teams to obtain results from each phase. In phase A, the teachers explain the objectives of each phase and the necessary resource. In phase B, the members of the work team interact through networking to perform each phase. In phase C, the work teams upload the provisional results to an online storage system visible to everyone, students, teachers. In phase C, D, in synchronous session and common to all of the participating teams, the results of each phase are analyzed together with teachers. During these sessions or later, the results are modified and the new improved result is the one that is delivered. The research work was applied in the subject Fundamentals of Programming in the first year of the degree in Biotechnology of Polytechnic University of Madrid from September 2021 to January 2022. The number of participating teams was 11, with an average of 6 people per team. The didactic model is based on flipped classroom method. Within the study, an analysis of 13 responsibility maps was carried out and for shared leadership processes, 156 processes have been identified in the 11 teams. This table shows the number of different shared leadership processes associated with each work team in morning and afternoon turn and the different shared leadership actions in each team. In this other table, we can see the mean and standard deviation on the different processes in which each team has been delegated. Grouping the different activities by categories, nine categories are obtained. Team member support. It means to help the rest of the team members in the tasks. External communication to the team with the teacher, with other work team, and with entities or external people to the subject and external diffusion of the team's work, internal communication in the team with the other members of the work team, actions to quality control, actions to prevent and resolve conflicts between members, actions to organize, manage meetings and generate evidence, micro planning that implies temporary and progressive planning, organization and generated intermediate content and the final results. And there are Supervisory actions follow up the team of the team planning and individual responsibilities. As a conclusion, the work teams don't have prior knowledge about leadership actions or about shared leadership. Some actions are programmed before starting the teamwork and other arises needs. However, the teams have been able to identify the leadership processes that are necessary for a correct functioning of the team, achieving plan objectives, cooperating online and adapting to the training and academic evaluation process itself. The number of different processes converge between the different teams and all the teams have processes within each category generated which confirm the hypothesis proposed. The average of processes have been 12 per team, which means that each team has carried out an average of two shared leadership processes per team. As future research work, the influence of shared leadership processes will be studied with the teamwork method used and how the different processes arise for acquisition of individual teamwork competence. We know that teamwork is one of the most demanded skill in the future working life of higher education students. For this reason, we are interested in continuing with future research on shared leadership. Thank you.